Here are 25 completely random building tips that I've learned in the year and a half of building my city Yeetus on the Morpheus ROM on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Feel free to subscribe if you enjoy, or maybe even just leave a like, it really does help out a lot. Firstly, there are three ways you can make a table in Minecraft. You can use a fence post and a pressure plate or carpet, a piece of scaffolding with a carpet on top, or two inverted wooden stairs. Each of these works well in its own environment, whether that's in a home or a restaurant, or just a decoration in an office block. Flower pots double off as coffee cups if you're building a cafe, and to add to this effect, put down iron pressure plates to act as miscellaneous crockery. If you have a kitchen that looks like this, try putting an activator rail above the furnace to give the impression of a hob or stove. If you're playing on Bedrock Edition, you can turn on the experimental features, which gives you access to all the elements of the periodic table for some reason. There's an item called a lab table, and if you place this backwards, it looks like a cupboard. You can add this to your kitchen from before to make it seem more homelike. Are you building an A front house? What you don't want is a house that looks like this. First of all, try bringing the roof out one more set of stairs along in thickness on both sides, and then place inverted stairs beneath it to make it seem less jagged. This makes the house look more realistic, and it also gives you an opportunity to include small details like piping or old fashioned framing. Here's how to make a basketball hoop. Place four andesite walls on top of each other, place a piece of orange concrete sticking out from the top piece of wall, surround that by white concrete to form a square, and finally make a ring out of iron bars. I know that wasn't really a tip, but it's a fun little thing to know. Here's a couple more of those fun little things. If you want to make bars, Stools, dig a hole in the ground like so and place a redstone power source like a redstone torch or block of redstone, place a piston facing up so that it activates itself, and then place a carpet on top. If you space about three of these apart, they genuinely look like proper bar stools. Let's say you're building a cinema. What cinema experience is complete without popcorn? Using simply a cauldron, a piece of yellow stained glass, and a red carpet, you can make a popcorn machine, which not only looks good, but works well if you have a red colour scheme going on to match it. Speaking of colour schemes, a great way to maintain similarity in a city is to build every building with the same kind of block palette and roof colour. You see this a lot in Yeetus, and it's easy to recognise where old areas stop and new areas start just by looking at the roofs. I mean, you can tell you've transitioned from the city centre to Substreet because the roofs have changed. I'll be making a video on Substreet soon, I promise. If you've got a small room like this which you need to light, Never do this. Instead, try putting one light source in one corner, and then in the opposite corner do the same again. Instead of having four lights stuck together like this, you can maximise space and still have practically the same amount of light from just two light source blocks. Here's a fairly obvious tip. Use banners. There's so many uses for them. Some of the more obvious include lettering, bath towels and curtains, but if you have a sofa like this, you can make banners into cushions by simply digging holes where these parts of the seat used to be, placing banners and then replacing the stairs like so. A classic computer and monitor design can be achieved by placing solid trap doors around a tinted glass block, having an iron pressure plate in front of it and a button to its side. I know there are plenty more complicated designs out there for computers, but if you don't have much space, this is probably your best bet. Flower pots work really well on chimneys if two blocks are available. You can see it everywhere on Substreet, and it resembles the English house design staple really, really well. You can make armchairs by using trap doors beside a stair block instead of signs. Note blocks work really well as solid walls if you want to make a noise cancelling studio in a radio building, for example. Lanterns on fence posts make lamp posts. Need I really say more? If you want a funky looking floor design, pick out four colours of terracotta and then create a checkerboard pattern by putting diagonal lines in a particular order of these colours you chose. This works particularly well if you're going for a 50s or 60s vibe. To make a bed look like a sleeping bag, put slabs around it. This works really well if you're making a tent. A grass block surrounded by spruce trapdoors makes a really nice looking flower pot for taller plants such as lilacs, rose bushes, or even tall grasses and ferns. Simple shelves can be made by just stacking wooden slabs like this. They work really well if you have a lot of space and not a whole lot of ideas have how to fill that space. Buttons can double up as a lot of things. Computer mice, headlights, pebbles, and now with a lot of variety in the colours of buttons, there's a whole lot of opportunity for detail. You can use rails to make conveyor belts look functional, like I've done in my bed factories. And the last tip is something I would recommend doing if your goal is to build a huge city similar to Yeetus. People often ask me how Yeetus got so big. It was probably mostly due to boredom of lockdown and self-isolation, but I think it's partly due to the way I built it. If you look at Zach's projects, they're always huge and very ambitious when he starts them. However, he's not online a whole lot and will often get bored of what he's building. So therefore, I'll always recommend building smaller buildings and building up your city bit by bit. Don't go too ambitious, just build a basic set of structures and then go crazy. Those were 25 completely random building tips that I learned in the year and a half of building my city Yeetus on the Morpheus realm. Once again, feel free to subscribe if you enjoyed the video and uh, leave a like, it really does help out. And yeah, thank you for watching.